Okay guys, it's me Imad. So today in this video tutorial we will learn about how to interface a 16 cross 2 LCD with that of ESP32. And as we are just doing the simulation, so we will just get the results on our Windows platform. Now you need to open Google and here you can write Vogue V, okay? You can write just Vogue V, okay? And this is considered as one of the best platforms for simulating your circuits. You can go to their website that is vokv.com and click on Vokv Online Simulator. Now you can go and click on ESP32. We got our ESP32 and I don't think that apart from like uh, this platform I don't think that any software or compiler is offering the like uh, ESP32 uh, as a like uh, programming or programmable board. So we have only this choice. Now what we need to do is to go to this plus sign and we will take our 16 cross 2 LCD. Now this is our LCD 16 cross 2 and this is our ESP32. Now you can see that we have a lot a lot of pins of LCDs like VSS, VDD, V0 and RS and all read write and enable and data 0 to data 7 pins and L cathode and anode. This uh, anode and cathode is actually for the backlight of LCD okay. And uh, VSS first you need to connect the VSS pin of LCD with the ground pin of ESP32 and VDD pin to the 3 volt 3 pin or 3.3 .3 volt pin of the ESP32. Okay, and now we will go for our uh, we need to leave this V0 uh, that is actually for contrast. We can leave it okay for a while. RS with D19. Okay, so we, we have to search for where is D19. Yes, this is D19. You can even change the pins and read write pin must be connected with that of Okay, where we, we need to connect it out. Uh, we can connect it with uh, D22 or 18 or where we need to write. Okay. Now let us suppose that we can connect it with D21. Oh sorry, read write must be connected with the ground. Okay, so we can go and we will connect it with the ground. Like this. Now what about enable pin? Enable pin must be connected with the D23. We will leave D0, D1, D2 and D3. As it is, that is normally open. Why it is so? Because we just want a 4 bit communication. So we need to connect D4 with D18 and D5 with TXD. D5 with TXD. D4 with D18. Okay, now we will go towards D6. D6 must be with Rx, D, okay, this one Rx, D or Rx2, okay, and now D7 with D15, okay, where it is, D5, D21, this, okay, we can search it for, so where is D15, Right, let me search it out. This is 23, 22, TX0, this, 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 18, and D5, and TX2, this. So this is D15, okay? Now our connections are a bit uh, okay. Now we will go and we will take VCC for our anode and cathode for backlight. So you can search it out like this. So connect it with the anode and ground with the cathode ok 
Okay, like this. So now, now our our circuit is completed. Now we will go for our programming. And before wide setup, we need to write hash include liquid crystal dot h and it it is this book v simulator is offering us nearly all the libraries okay you can include all the libraries if you want so we have got this library and why we are using it because we want to have certain functions to use certain functions for reading and writing the data on the lcd so we need this library because this library used to provide us certain functions okay now we will write here or we will create an object of uh, liquid crystal liquid crystal okay and we will write here lcd now lcd is the object lcd is the object okay let, let me change it to c okay no 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 it's it must be liquid crystal okay liquid and crystal and lcd okay okay so and also we we, we will uh give inside the parameter brackets we need to write 19 comma 23 comma 18 comma 17 comma 16 comma 15 okay because this is for this pin that is 19 is connected with what is called as the what is called as the register select enable d23 so we have written 23 and then d7 d6 d4 uh, okay wait let me see d7 is connected with d7 is connected with d15 so it is d7 so d4 d5 d6 and d7 okay so now we will run it out either of our library is working well we will just see yes i think that it is working okay we, we have created the object okay so rather than serial dot begin we will write lcd dot begin okay uh 16 comma 2 16 comma 2 means that 16 uh, columns are there and two rows are there okay and also lcd dot print align if you want to print certain string on lcd we can write like this okay okay hello lcd hello lcd okay so now we will run it out Bec uh, it is taking some time okay now you can see that we have written hello dot or hello lcd okay so here we will write uh, some more thing like lcd dot print ln okay lcd dot print ln we will write okay we, we can just write millis okay and what 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 these millis are millis are actually the internal function which will give us the time passing time pass means that uh, as soon as our time proceeds forward it will gives us milliseconds it will generate on its own okay and we will write divided by like uh, thousand yeah so, so it will give us uh, seconds okay and and we also need that and where we want to print this out lcd dot set cursor set cursor okay set lcd dot set cursor okay and it must be on uh first row and zero column okay first row and zero column so now we will run it out now okay where they said lcd dot print ln okay wait they said we need long in sign to binary okay wait now this is actually integer yes we all know yeah uh, it is integer type data so how we can print it out
okay now can we go for just print okay okay now we will run it out okay it is it is not allowing us okay now now one more thing that that we we need to write this bracket okay because uh millis is a function so so we need to write millis uh, okay and these two brackets these are very necessary these are the parameter brackets okay so now we will try to run it out okay now you can see that uh, it is uh, first column and zero rows okay okay so first column and zero rows so we will write okay uh, it's uh, row number first okay row number first and column number zero okay so it is it must be zero comma one okay so now we will get our millis to be displayed in the second line okay it is taking a bit of time so please now you can see that we got our hello lcd again one two three four so hopefully you got the concept that how you can use or how to simulate 16 cross 2 lcd with that of esp32 microcontroller so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe